even to one and all again guys i'm here in the parish of st john first of all i'm starting from by st john parish church cemetery i'm looking to go to st john parish church i'm starting from by the church this is the cemetery here now where they bury the people now since the cemetery and the church is full this is where they have to bury the people now so this road here will lead you back to Gall Hill via Pool and Four Roads in St. John and back to the parish of St. George of Gun Hill by the land and the signal station and back to Charles Robridge and St. George Church and back to town this way is to take you back to Cosmington College and back to um, back to society this is the St. John Primary School here this orange building over here is the St. John Primary School so this is the St. John Cemetery which is belonging to St. John Parish Church where to bury the people in no since the church cemetery is filled this is where to bury this is where to bury the people now St. John Church Cemetery over here, the church cemetery where they bury the people now. St. the graveyard and the church is filled. I'll be my way over now to St. John Parish Church. To this historic site, St. John Parish Church. Once again, which gives awesome views of the East Coast of Barbados. So, this is where to lead you back to Martin's Bay, Clifton Hall, and that side of St. John. St. John Parish Church which gives awesome views of the East Coast and this is where it has some of the oldest graves in the Caribbean each grave tells a story each tomb tells a story hoping that it will still be open and not close yet I'm not sure if it's closed Church door is closed, but there's a way that I can get in and show you guys around the church. So 
I'm in the beautiful power shop St. John, which is to the eastern side of the island. Directory grounds. <clears throat> this is Directory grounds. And this is St. John Parish Church. St. John Parish Church is an Anglican church and it has some of the oldest graves in the Caribbean. Rectory here. I'm not sure if this common priest resides here. The last priest that lived here was Canon Jeffrey Mears, who was here from 1998 to 2021. So, St. John Parish Church offers fantastic views of the east coast from northeast to southeast from northeast to southeast St. John Parish Church is an Anglican church Anglican Episcopal Church a more gothic and less Georgian St. John Parish Church here. The church is closed now. The sign says when visiting the church, please be appropriately dressed. St. John Parish Church first erected in 1645, destroyed by fire and rebuilt in 1676, destroyed by hurricane and rededicated in 1836. The church gets shot over here. This is the graveyard now. Only certain people can be buried in this cemetery. You can see the east coast from here. Down below here will be Clifton Hall and Church View in St. John. And you can see all down to Bath, I mean Bathsheba in St. Joseph. So this is Clifton Hall, St. John here. And you can see all of the bar, the Bathsheba. You can see all of the Bathsheba in St. Joseph, all on the east coast. So this is the east coast. I'm to the east of the island, by the way. This is the east coast here, northeast of Bathsheba. You can see all of the St. Margaret's Church at St. Margaret's Village, down below here. St. Margaret's is the sister church to St. John Parish Church. The same parish, the same priest, the same everything. St. Margaret's Church down below here. This is the red colored people for St. John used to be buried. You can see all of the Bathsheba and St. Joseph and St. Bay, and you can see all across the St. Andrew. So you can see St. Joseph and St. Andrew over here, northeasternly. St. Joseph and St. Andrew, all in the Scotland district of Barbados. These are the telescopes here that you can see from a distance when you put in a, a quarter in it for distant viewing. So this is all the East Coast here. So this is the Saint, beautiful St. John Parish Church, Anglican Episcopal. As I said before, it has a lot of historic graves in this cemetery. Each grave tells a story. By the way, St. John is the parish here in Barbados that most of the white Barbadian population originated. This is where most of the white Barbadians originated from, here in St. John. 
So main church is locked. I mean because it because of the the time is for the church visiting hours is over. This church is packed with tourists. Tourists visit this church daily. So anytime after hours you have to go to the other back door, the other back entrance. St. John Parish Church is more gothic and less charging. St. John is the parish where most of the white Barbadian population originated from. So we start with over here first before getting back around to the other side. So this is the back part of the church here and so on. This is the section for the colored people, the colored tomb, the Skinner tomb here. The Skinner tombs here. And this is the grave of Iris Banoki. First of all, and granddaughter of Ivy Bash Basha near McConney, who died on the 30th of August 1974, aged 91 years. And her daughter, Iris Branch Banoki, civil king of merit, who died September 2nd, 1988, at 73 years. Iris Branch Banoki was the founder of Andromeda Gardens. Which is at Bathsheba in St. Joseph, which is a, a, gar, um, a flower garden and so on. So, as I said before, each grave in this cemetery tells a story. The map showing you how to get around in the cemetery. So, this is St. John Churchyard. Overlooking the East Coast again. The picturesque East Coast here in Barbados again. All St. John Parish Church. And this is the grave of Ferdinando Paleologus. Who was buried upright? He was buried upright. Guess how you see the tomb, the tomb standing upright? Here lies the body of Ferdinando Paleologus, descend from the emperor line of the last Christian emperors of Greece, church warden of this parish from 1655 to 1656, vestryman 20 years, who died the 3rd of October 1678. This is the Haynes tomb here from Easy Hall Plantation and this one from Newcastle Plantation. Honorable Richard Haynes of Easy Hall Plantation, eldest son of Honorable J.A. Haynes of Newcastle Plantation, who died the 8th of May 1937 at age 81 years, and in loving memory of Mary Howell Haynes of Newcastle, St. John who died the 22nd of July 1957 at the age of 97 years. The church of New Williams, known to many as Cole Williams, is also laid to rest in this churchyard as well. This is the grave of Thomas Henry Seeley, son of Sir John Seeley and Isabella Seeley, born January 14, 1845 and died the 20th of June 1904. The Carter tomb here. As I said before, St. John is the parish where most of the white Barbadian population originated from. So Charles Anthony Williams, known as Carl Williams, who was a well-known entrepreneur in Barbados, is also laid to rest in this churchyard. The 
you can see out of the pothouse village from here and you can see southeasterly now you can see also on the east coast and you can see all the St. Philip all across the East Point Lighthouse and you can see Bath Beach in St. John and the old cable and wireless earth satellite station Bath Beach is in St. John this is southeast now and the ruins for the old bath plantation and sugar factory and you can see all the concept bay which is the nether fishing village in St. John closest to St. Philip and you can see all the East Wagon Point East Point Lighthouse in St. Philip and this is the grave here of our late Prime Minister David Thompson who served briefly as Prime Minister he was the parliamentary representative for St. John from 1987 until he died in 2010 